description, uh, the prerequisites, obviously you've met all the prerequisites because you were able to register for the course. Uh, here's the required text. Uh, I would assume that you all have either uh, purchased the uh, physical uh, version of the textbook or you've rented or purchased some electronic version. Uh, if you have purchased an electronic version, uh, I have no problem with you copying and pasting uh, out of the electronic version of the textbook uh, for purposes of answering uh, homework assignments. Uh, you've looked it up, no reason to retype it, just copy and paste it. Uh, I have no problem with that at all. Uh, the university policy on academic honesty, it's going to be very difficult for me to discover you uh, doing things inappropriately, uh, being, this, being that this is a distance learning course. Uh, all of the quizzes are uh, randomized, so it's not like you can cheat off each other while you're taking a quiz. Um, but uh, if I do somehow discover that you are... Um, being dishonest in submitting work or uh, any kind of work associated with the course. Um, I really have no tolerance for that at all, so I'll just bring that to the Dean's uh, attention and persecute that uh, to my full, to the fullest extent. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to have to worry about that. I've never had to in the past, so let's hope I don't have to in the future. Um, here's a statement on University uh, Disability Policy Statement. Um, I have worked with uh, students with disabilities in the past. Uh, I have no problem with that. I will extend every uh, accommodation I can for you. Um, so if you need any accommodations, please let me know uh, so that I can make this the best experience for you possible. Um, there is a university of policy on incomplete grades. Uh, my policy is that uh, you have to have a very significant evidentiary uh, event happen in your life. Uh, so that means uh, you have to be able to prove to me that this significant uh, event occurred. Uh, I do not like giving incompletes because that means I am working with you uh, past the time that I'm getting paid uh, to instruct this course. So unless you have a really, really good reason uh, and evidence to support it, I do not give incompletes. So. Uh, the outcome and objectives of the course, you are going to learn about database management systems, uh, how to create them, where do they come from, um, right down to building your own and then writing SQL statements uh, at the end. Uh, I will evaluate you. Uh, I, when it comes to evaluation, uh, especially the distance learning course, I am for all intents and purposes an accountant. Uh, all of your assignments are graded in Blackboard, all of your quizzes are graded in Blackboard, your midterm, your final, and your project grade are all going to be posted in Blackboard. Uh, whatever your uh, whatever your total is for the course, uh, that is your grade. So you get 93 and above, uh, that's an A. And then uh, appropriately broken down uh, after that. So, um, We've got assignments. Uh, it's the homework assignments. There are basically two per chapter, uh, one per week. So um, you will uh, submit those. They are due uh, the Saturday at the end of every week, uh, the Saturday at midnight. Uh, that gives me Sunday to grade them, and then you can move on uh, with the rest of your coursework. Um, if you have any issues, um, if you take the homework and I grade it and you're not happy with uh, the grade that I gave you, uh, homeworks are set up so that you can uh, submit as many versions as you like. Uh, I will grade them within one week of the due date. So if you want to resubmit your homework two, three, four times, that's fine with me, but you have to do it within the week, within one week of the due date. Um, I know I say submit it after the due date. That's the initial submission. If you do not submit that homework assignment by the time it's due, you get a zero. So submit something to me so that I can grade it. And if you don't like your grade, you can do it over again, but I have to have something before the due date. Uh, if it's not handed in before the due date, you do not get a chance to, to resubmit it again, unless you have a real good excuse and some kind of evidence to support why you were incapable of doing that homework assignment by the date it was due. Uh, exams and quizzes are uh, very similar, uh, but um, again, uh, that I have to reset. 
Um, so the way exams work, again, they're all randomized, so every time you take it, you're going to get a different quiz. Uh, you have to ask me to reset the quiz for you so you can retake it within a week. Um, and, you know, again, you can retake as many times as you like uh, because it's, it's self-grading. All I have to do is reset it for you, uh, but uh, you only have one week uh, to ask me to retake quizzes. Uh, the project uh, you're going to do in a group environment, hopefully you've already uh, started putting your group together and started formulating uh, your idea as to what your project topic is going to be because that is due uh, the first week, uh, the first Saturday, you have to submit uh, your first project milestone. Uh, I cover the project milestones in a different video. Uh, so I, I've already covered the policy on missed exams. So... Um, you know, if you need makeups, you have to let me know way ahead of time. Uh, and you have to have some kind of evidence to support that. Uh, this is the week-by-week -week breakdown. As you can see, uh, the coursework and the chapters are split in half. You do a half a chapter per week, uh, every week. Um, I uh, encourage you uh, to do things ahead of time, if you like. Uh, all of the assignments are there for you to do in Blackboard, so please... Uh, feel free to do things ahead of time. Um, and then the homework and, and quiz due dates, um, that's really, you know, you can see that in Blackboard. So if, if you actually go to Blackboard and you look at the course materials, each of the folders will actually tell you when uh, each of those things are due. Uh, so it's, usually, it's always the Saturday at midnight, uh, again, so I can do the grading on Sunday. And that is my review of the syllabus.